Okay, today's project we're going to make an aluminum shingle like this out of an old pop can. In this case it's a Diet Coke. First thing we do is rinse it out. A little bit of soap, a little bit of bleach into a lot of water. When you're doing a hundred at a time you need a lot of water. Put it in there, rinse it out good, dump it out, try to get it as dry as possible. The next step in the process is take the can and an old catalog and a dollar store paring knife and take the ends off the can. You have to hold the end so that you don't collapse the can. And you take the bottom end, and you can see I've done a few. You then take the top and push it down flush. Take the can, cut the other end off. Trying not to get too many bends in the can. This part you can recycle. Then you find some straight line on the can and cut with the scissors. And now you've got the beginnings of a shingle. The next step is to flatten out the can by reverse bending over a radius, like I'm doing here. You can then get the can fairly flat. We then take the can, put it in a paper cutter, and we want a three and a half inch wide shingle at the end, so we cut off that side, we cut off this side, and now we reverse bend it a little more to get it a little flatter. And we're ready for the baking. The next step is to take the stack that you've made here that are relatively flat and put masking tape around them in three places. Wrap it around like that. Once we have them wrapped with the masking tape, we then open the oven, place them in the oven, on an upside down cookie sheet, place another cookie sheet on top. Then I like to use about 10 to 15 pounds, in this case it's a box of pennies. Put those on top, close the oven. We then turn the oven on to 375. and let them bake for about two hours and then after two hours we turn the oven off and let the oven coast down overnight and in the morning we'll take them out. In the morning when we take them out we take the tape off and this is about what they look like. They're slightly stuck together so you can separate them but they're three and a half inches wide by eight and an eighth inches long. They weigh four and a half grams, so a hundred of them weigh exactly a pound. And uh, have fun doing them. 